Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Sa video na to, ang pag-uusapan natin ay it's all about Ohm's Law. Okay? So, this is part 1 kasi sa part 2, it's all about solving problems related to Ohm's Law. So, this topic, it's really all about Ohm's Law application. Okay? So, ano ang ibig sabihin ng Ohm's Law? So, a law is stating that the current is proportional to voltage and inversely inversely proportional to the resistance. So, meron tayong tatlong words or vocabulary na ating um, i-take note. So, we have electric current, we have resistance, and we have the voltage. So, uh, pag, uh, later on, malalaman natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng tatlong ito. But for now, Ohm's Law, it's about um, stating the relationship of these three. So, Ohm's law is one of the most fundamental and uh, important laws governing electrical and electronic circuits. Uh, Pinaka-basic lang tong Ohm's law kasi eh, pag uh, mastered mo na tong Ohm's law, mas madali mo na lang uh, masagot or mas madali mo lang maiintindihan yung mga succeeding pa ng mga topics. So, now let's have uh, the main application of Ohm's law. So, it is to determine. Dapat natin malaman or aalamin natin kung ano ba yung voltage, resistance, or current sa isang electric circuit. So, ito yung one application ng Ohm's Law. So, now let's have these three. The current, voltage, and resistance. Anong ibig sabihin ng tatlong to? Now, let's go uh, first with voltage. A voltage, it causes current to flow or move in a circuit. It is the pusher of the electron or current. Ito kasing, let's say for example, ito yung uh, electrical loop mo or isang uh, conductor mo. Merong electrons dyan na they are stable and they are not energized. Once this, uh, let's say this one, this N, uh, parang uh, saksak natin sa ating outlet, this will carry energy. Okay? So, itong mga electrons na to mag-energize at dahil sa meron tayong tinatawag na potential difference, mag-move ito, causing current. So, ito yung pusher. Kung walang voltage, walang current. Okay? So, voltage is the pusher. So, siya yung dahilan kung bakit gagalaw itong electrons or bakit merong charge. Okay? So, ano ba yung sor mga sources ng voltage? We have a force, battery, we also have generator and yung outlets natin sa mga bahay natin. Okay? So, ang symbol niya is V. At saka yung unit naman niya is volts. Okay? So, ito yung voltage. The second is about current. So, it is the flow of charge or electrons within a conductor. So, electrons charge will only flow if there is voltage. So, sabi ko kanina kung walang voltage, hindi talaga gagalaw tong mga electrons na to. So, walang current. Okay? So, ang unit niya or ang symbol niya is letter I. Tapos, yung unit naman niya is amps or yung capital letter A. Okay? So, ito yung current and the last one is the resistance. So, resistance opposes the push from the voltage source. Ito yung parang kontrabida sa isang drama. Okay? So, yung voltage, it's the pusher. The current is yung magpo-flow. Itong resistance naman, ito yung uh, pipigil sa flow ng current. Okay? So, flow ng electrons pala. So, para siyang, uh, para siyang uh, siya yung magko-control or siya yung dahilan kung bakit hindi or kung bakit mahina yung current na uh, dumadaloy sa isang circuit. So, resistance affects the speed of the current. So, the higher the resistance, the, the lower the current or the smaller the current is. So, the symbol niya is letter R, capital R, and we have the unit, which is ohms. Okay? So, we have the voltage, current, and resistance. Now, let's talk about the relationship. Meron din silang relationship pagdating sa ohms law. So, the first relationship is between voltage and current. So, if the voltage in a circuit increases, the current will increase. If the voltage in a circuit decreases, the current will decrease. So, from that um, statement, malalaman natin na kasi pag mag-increase the voltage, mag-increase din si current. So, their relationship now is direct proportional. Or, kung tataas si isa, 
tataas naman yung isa. Pag bababa yung isa, bababa yung isa. So this is a direct or direct proportional naman. Uh, direct proportional ang namamagitan sa voltage at sa current. Okay? Let's have the other type of couple. We have the resistance and we have the current. So, ano naman yung relationship kaya ng resistance at saka ng current? So, if the resistance in a circuit increases, the current will decrease. So, decrease siya, increase siya. So, alam, so from this uh, observation or from this statement, we can conclude that the relationship of resistance and current is inversely proportional. So, pag tataas is isa, pababa yung isa. Pag uh, Bababa naman yung isa, tataas si isa. Okay? So, this is the relationship of resistance and current. So, pagdating sa ohms law, kasi uh, sa ohms law, sinamarize niya lahat. So, we have current is equals to uh, or directly proportional to the voltage, yung sabi ko kanina, and inversely proportional to the resistance. So, we have now the formula for ohms law. Okay, so this is your formula in finding the current. So this is the end of part 1. So part 2, we will have examples and problem solving related to Ohm's law. Okay, so um, if you find this video helpful, and please comment down below if ano pa yung mga content na dapat na ipag-uusapan, mga tutorial videos na gusto nyo pang malaman or gusto nyo um, kita sa channel nito. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you and God bless us all.